Laverne Sula is the president for North America for a company called Argus Security. And Laverne, we're going around learning a lot at the show, so you got to tell us, what is Argus Security? So Argus Cybersecurity is a small Israeli startup. We were formed in 2013 and by some really, really sharp young folks that just came out of the Israeli military, specifically the 8200, which is akin to the NSA here in, in the US. And they looked around and they said, okay, what's a problem that we need to solve? And it brought them to automotive. You know, so they understand the intelligence side of the business. These guys are brilliant when it comes to their learnings from the PC world, the smartphone world, and they said there's a number of things that we know that we can apply to automotive, specifically intrusion detection and prevention. So our Now when you're model, talking intrusion protection, you're not talking about somebody literally physically breaking in. You're talking about hacking. Hacking hacking the car. It's it's you know, as and I think the story on car hacking is out there, you know, it is possible, whether probable, that's a whole other story. The fact is it is possible for someone to get into the, the ECUs and into the inner workings of your vehicle um, and do things that the customer doesn't want done. So our software, which is an intrusion detection and prevention, will sit in a vehicle, it listens to what's going on, all the messages that are being transmitted on the bus. And if it hears something that it doesn't agree with or thinks is malicious, it stops it. And it doesn't just, just say, hey, something's wrong. It makes sure that that malicious message does not get passed to the rest of the vehicle in any way. So what is it looking for? Some sort of anomalous message that doesn't make sense? Is that how it works? Absolutely. So at the, at the time of launch, you already know what's allowed, what messages are allowed. And at the time of launch, you clearly know some messages that you don't want passed on. Um, so what we do is we include what's allowed, what's not allowed, and then we use our own know-how and proprietary software to just sit there and determine if, if something's wrong. It's interesting that your, or Argus is taking a software approach. Others have said, oh, that's not enough, you're going to have hardware too. What makes Argus so confident a software solution will work? So, so at the end of the day, any, any cybersecurity solution targeted at a vehicle has to be done in layers. They call it defense in depth. So there is no one right solution that's ever going to protect the vehicle. You need to employ several, and we're just one of them. That's how we look at it. But that's got to be good for automakers in the sense that it's not a big, expensive hardware or something or other. It's that's not a be huge tear up of the vehicle. It's something that you could do with a vehicle that's currently in production, a vehicle that's in the pipeline, or future vehicles. Right? You can put it. It's because it's software. You can put it in at any point in time, and that's what we like. And we even have a dongle solution that you could pop in, as well. So there is a little bit of hardware, maybe. A little, but not much. One of the big topics here, of course, is over-the-air updates. I'm sure there's provisions for that with our hundred percent. We actually make sure that that when we communicate to the back office, that our our communication line is completely secure, and we do that ourselves. We don't trust that to anybody else. The auto industry, as you well know, you told me earlier, you used to work at General Motors. I used to work at so GM. You, so for you know, over thirty years. So you know the whole process. Um, where does Argus stand in terms of landing some sort of contract within the industry? Because all automakers and even suppliers are scrambling Absolutely. to get on board with cybersecurity. Absolutely. So at Argus, we've got uh, two divisions, if you will. We've got software solutions, and we've got a, a number of them that help protect the vehicle. And we also offer services to the OEMs and the tier ones, because it's interesting that tier, as the OEMs continue to provide really, really good requirements on what they want and what they don't want in the vehicles, the suppliers then seek out companies like, like Argus to help them interpret what are these requirements so that they can deliver the right solutions back to the OEMs. So from that standpoint, we've got, we're doing a lot of business with tier ones and tier twos, as well as OEMs here in, in North America, Germany, and in, in uh, Asia. Okay, am I missing anything? Or is there anything else that you're announcing here at the show that we, our viewers should know about? Yeah, we're just a great company, and give us a call. <laughs> Laverne Sula, thanks so much for your time. Very interesting. Thank you so much.